the force of it was we it's unimaginable it is unimaginable in one second it was gone that is a minnesota mother describing what it was like to take shelter with her family as a tornado destroyed their home thanks for watching wcco and cbs news minnesota in the last hour or so, we've learned at least four tornadoes ripped through parts of the state yesterday. The worst damage is in Foreda, which is just south of Alexandria. An EF2 tornado with winds up to 120 miles per hour slammed into that community. Emergency management says about 75 to 100 structures are damaged. One family explained what it felt like as they hid in their basement. And I could hear glass just shattering and you could just hear it ripping, you could hear it ripping the house apart. We walked out our front door and we were just numb. The Leeser family's home is destroyed. They allowed our camera to come inside to see what is left. The tornado also leveled their barn and flipped their camper. Their daughter Meredith was an hour away when she got the call about what happened. Everything is mainly gone. <laughs> I'm just glad I wasn't here, but I'm just glad my family is alive. The Leeser family says they wanted to share their story so others take storm warnings seriously. They said that the community is helping support them as they clean up. Nobody in Ferreira was seriously hurt. An EF1 tornado hit Eagle Bend about an hour northeast of Ferreira. Up to 95 mile per hour winds tore brick walls from buildings and crumpled silos. Main Street took the brunt of the damage from this storm. One man told us his boat and camper were thrown into his home. Another EF1 hit further south in Plato with winds up to 90 miles per hour. The force toppled trees, put these two trees into a home, bent power poles, and ripped apart buildings. One farmer lost this barn but told us he was grateful that all of his cattle survived.